Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Fate Tactics, the girl who destroyed the world. We already played the demo for this, and apparently our save carries over, but I think I'm going to say we shouldn't continue where we left off, just because nobody's going to know, uh, nobody's going to want to go to a video two months ago just to watch the first part of it, and it would be really difficult to set that up. So instead, uh, new save file. Also, there may be some differences, I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, what? I think we had this last time. I'm just going to set my birthday slash channel birthday because why not? <laughs> there we go. This is very cute. So does this mean you're the bear? I I guess. Hundreds of years ago, the elemental gates were constructed to seal away all magical things in a timeless world. The elemental gates were opened by an evil witch, causing the two worlds to merge. I think there's a lot of that stuff. We'll be able to find it later. Long ago, the world of magic was separated from the natural world by magical elemental gates. The gates remained sealed for centuries and were eventually forgotten. One day, the seal on the gates was broken and the two worlds began to merge. The natural world was flooded with magical fey creatures once thought to be myths. The merging was imperfect, and much of the land was torn apart. The devastation claimed the lives of most of the population of natural and fey creatures alike. Those that survived have forged new lives in the ruins of the old worlds. But... Growing tension between man and fae threatens to finish what began with the opening of the gates. Our story begins with a young girl named Peony, traveling with her two companions. A human girl with the unnatural ability to use magic. Alright, you two lazy bones. It's time to wake up. Actually, Shell, you should just have the controller for all dialogue uh -huh. until we find a single male character for me to voice act. Because you did the dog and the bird, too. <laughs> no, it's true. But also, you're just raiding our chocolate. I wanted chocolate. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, don't give me that. You've had more than enough sleep. I have a good feeling about today. Mama is out there somewhere, and we're going to find her. I have to find her. Come on. We've got a lot of ground to cover before we reach Rockfall. Humans with magical abilities are an infrequent occurrence. They are usually the result of crossbreeding between humans and fae. But other magical manifestations in humans have been documented. Hmm. So, does this mean she's part fae? Yeah, half and half. Oh. Ah! Oh, it's toast! So much for that good feeling I had today. Aww. So, she has a motorbike. Interesting. I won't be able to fix this, this without some new parts. Had a motorbike. Yeah, had. It's sparking. But it's purple sparks? I... Hmm. Map say Rockfall Valley is not far from here. Woof. Pew. Yeah. We're out in the middle of gremlin territory. We'll have to keep our guard up. Woof. Woof. Oh, look at that. Is that a little squirrel with a horn on its head? Maybe. That was running at the bottom. Dusty road. Battle. So, just defeat all opponents, yep. pretty much.
Okay. I forgot this control scheme is going to take a little bit of getting used to. Did you speed things up? Yes. Battle speed is now uh, times two. Just to speed up a little bit. I love tactics RPGs, but they are painfully slow. Mm hmm And this one cuts down on a whole lot of the menuing and some other stuff. So it might not be so bad. I just always find it interesting that the, the animations, I mean, obviously they're sped up as well because time itself is sped up, but it just makes everything very fluttery. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Especially those gremlins hopping back and forth. Yep. Look, they've just, they had way too much coffee today and they're just trying to work it off. <laughs> Everyone did. Turns out everybody drinks just pure espresso and it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and Pia was excellent at Pia is a freaking attacking beast. from the water. Yeah, correct. They yep. get bonuses. So if I have him wait, oh, maybe that's not how it works. I know I'm skipping the uh, the tutorials. So I already know this stuff. I just have to re-remember how it works. Works. What's your best bark? Because you can be the dog. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Yep. Do I do more damage from behind? Yes, I do. Oh, right. He gets extra HP for killing enemies. I, th I think that's what it was. I can look at a lot of this menuing info. There we go. Normal movement type. Ranged. Steel takes enchantments from target on kill if no enchantments are already in place. Extra attack per kill. After two attacks, next we'll do crit. Mm -hmm. I don't think she can do that, but what she can do is assist. Which admittedly, it's only a cloak enchantment, so it's not the most amazingly useful. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Well, that guy's done. And they're also weak to water? Yes, these guys are very weak to water. I wonder if it's because they're more earthen in nature? Or is that a fire symbol next to their name? Well, that looks like a fire symbol. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they are fire-based, and that explains it. Yeah, she has, she has a flame, but it's pink next to her name. He just had a sword, so that yeah, just might seem... Yeah, she's magic-based or, like, arcane-based or... Yeah. It explained it a little bit. Let's see, is this the full game? Yep. Yeah. Came out. Okay, world map. We know about... Customized features of your party and save. Yep, so we've Ooh. got basic party menuing. So you can see what all of their abilities are. So she is arcane. He's mm -hmm. physical. And, and water. Yep water. It looks like there's enough space for at least three more party members? No, there's more. No, there's more. more because you see the little slider. Yeah, interesting. So I wonder if we get like other monsters or just a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So melee performs combo attacks when adjacent to an enemy. Extra damage, defense, and accuracy. Recovers HP after defeating enemy units. And extra damage if an ally is defeated. Lore. Name Chico. Age six, Peony found Chico abandoned in the forest around the foot of Mount Alma, a good boy that loves to chase Unilanas. <laughs> Name Peony Bernard. Age fifteen, a young witch from Mount Alma in the north, adept with all manner of machines and gadgets due to teachings from her mother. Or name Hayachin. Oh, so not Pio, it's Hayachin. Age eight months. Oh, little baby. It, but then again, birds probably age at a much swifter rate. Amy found Piachin's egg on the body of what she could only assume was Piachin's deceased mother. Oh, when the egg hatched, Peony named her after a Pio Pio woman that lived in her village on Mount Alma. Wait, what's a Pio Pio woman? I don't know. Might might be like a bird race. Oh, I see. Interesting. Leader units gain trait points as they level up. Unique equipment can also be exchanged. Cool. Okay. So we can increase 
healing or damage. Attack, attack, attack. Let's see, weight skill. Less protector and chain. Uh... I think you can freely switch these around. Hmm. Yeah, so you can customize them whenever you want. Okay, looks like summons, spells, camp, devices. And there's some other stuff. Okay, Dusty Road. Well, going on the Dusty Road. Melee units have the unique ability to perform combo attacks. All right. They've barricaded the road! Chico, you take the lead. We'll have to attack together to break through. Woof! And battle. Okay, so melee attackers combos. Yep. And these were the female gremlins, correct? They're like witches? Yeah, gremlin witches. Uh, let's see. Now, if her mother is really adept at handling machinery and such, then perhaps her father was the Fae? Yeah, possibly. But And P.O.P. Uh, Pyachin just absolutely ruins the witch. Who needs to co-op fight? Uh, let's see. Who needs to co-op fight using combos when you can easily just, like, delete dudes <laughs> with freaking murder bird? Oh, not enough range. That's fine. Alright, murder bird. Can you reach? Yes? Yes. Really? They can send an Bam. attack diagonally like that? Yeah. Yeah, there will be certain characters that can only attack in lines, because that's mm -hmm. not uncommon. I know in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, characters with guns worked that way. Of course. Alright. Okay, Chico just gets more attack power. There we go. I am really appreciating increasing the battle speed. Water is good against fire. Fire is good against earth, earth and, ice. and ice. I remember this being messy and confusing. Yeah, it looks a little confusing. Electric crits against water and arcane. I prefer it when elemental weaknesses are real basic and it shows you. <laughs> the more you have to memorize, the harder it is for me. I, I always liked it about Fire Emblem because it was just like rock, paper, scissors repeatedly, which is so nice. Well, the other thing too is... Wind crits against water. I would consider wind to also be effective against earth, but instead earth is the one that crits against wind and electricity. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> ah! A band of salamanders is bad enough, but that mana totem is also protecting them. Huh? Salamanders are fire elemental fae. So their counter element is water. Hyachin, we're going to have to rely on you to take them out. Chico and I will keep you covered while you use your water attack from long range. Pew! And isn't that interesting? So, the salamanders are fey. Does that just mean any creature with magic is considered fey? Does that mean that Pyachin is fey of some sort? Possibly. A water fey, perhaps. Cleanse. Uh, let's see. Heals HP, enchanted with regen if cursed. Yeah, we don't need that, though. Bam. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
So yeah, just leveled up. Nothing else fancy about that one. Yeah, so I suppose your next target will be the totem. Probably. That's an old tire back there. It, it seems like there's a lot of I, wreckage. Yeah, well, remember, like, when the worlds merged, it wrecked a lot of people. So maybe it's one of those things where there was a more traditional human civilization on the, this material plane, but then when the Fey world oh, merged here with we it, go. they were Look at powered. that. Oh, okay. So now they have symbols for it. Yep. So this is going to be much easier to remember. Oh, so does that mean that it's... What were the gremlins then? It was yellow. Uh, let's see. That's win. Mm, no. Oh, they're not labeled here. We'll find them again. Well. Because I, I could easily identify water and ice, fire. Because I don't know if wind is represented by the, the yellow like star starburst going around, or if it was the leaf on the wind, or if that's supposed to be earth, if earth is also related to nature. We just saw the name of all of them, and as soon as we see another gremlin, we can go. We can mm -hmm. go double check. Okay. This is so much better at this speed. Let's see. Come for me, Salaman. For me, I always separate nature magic from earth magic. Uh, this is a personal preference for me. Yeah, well, because they, it, they're completely separate things. Nature magic involves, like, a lot of growth and plants well, and stuff. it's also organics, like, living things. Yeah. As opposed to just an inanimate rock. Yep. So I personally like to separate the two of them. I would consider earth to be earth metal crystal yeah i can see sometimes that. like ma magma because magma is just the molten form of rock and by extension you could make it affiliated with fire but they have a cannon that's bad news for us if we get in its range but i don't see another way around ah i've got it chico i'll use my magic on you to enchant you with a cloak then you can sneak by and take out the gremlin at the cannon. Woof. Or woof. Woof. I don't really know what kind of bark I should give him. He just seems eager, always. Whoa. Right, because that blast, it's only a crisscross. Mm -hmm. Ah, so the witches are descending. They're here to fight Pio. Poor Pio. Wind. Ah, so yellow is the wind, alright. Yeah, so leaf must be straight up just nature then. Oh, wait, what was earth then? Oh, no, you're right. So I think that the leaf is earth then. Yep. Interesting. Let's see. I think they act. Oh, he's actually shooting at me. Mm hmm. Intentionally. Not rad. Well, that's why you had to have Chico in the cloak. Yeah. Otherwise, just Piachin just... Oh, did they... They had a doppelganger. Or a, an illusion. Fancy dodging. Mm-hmm. Ouch! Well, she's down. 
I don't actually remember what happens when you die. When a leader unit's HP reaches zero, they enter a wounded state. If a wounded unit is attacked repeatedly, they will be defeated. Okay. They'll recover if three rounds pass and an ally assists them. Okay. That ain't easy enough. Well, yeah, taking him out will help, but now your cloak is down. Yeah. Fine. Can Piachin destroy that witch? Yep. Okay, then. Piachin can just destroy anything. And Piachin will be able to heal Peony. And this guy is still too stupid to do anything other than shoot the staircase. Ooh, thank goodness. And we're good. Like, they want Chico to just be obscenely strong right from the outset. Oh. oh well. Pio got a level. Well, Piachin. Pio almost would just be a better name. I like Pio <laughs> as a name. Yep. Oh. Well. If all player leader units are defeated, the battle is lost, but ally summoned units are resummoned at the start of the, every battle. So all player leader units? That means you could have more than one leader? Can you have different squads? Pa yeah, I'm assuming such. So many totems! Huh? How are we going to reach that shaman? Pew, pew! Ah, that's the right idea, Piachin. I'll charge up a chain attack and see if I can bounce it off the totems towards the shaman. Hey, Chico. Can you cover me while I get close? Woof. Ah, so there he is. Weight skills are activated when a unit ends their turn without attacking or assisting. Use Peony's weight skill, grant her the chain ability. So his weight skill protects her. Now, Peony was the one that was going to have to use the chain attack, correct? But she, they have to stay out of range, and he has to be able to defend her. Should be fine. Let's see, now I don't think they can actually hit me. They're charging up something. Okay, can she do the chain attack already? No. We have to get closer. I think I might screw this one up, uh, just because she's short range. Ow. Maybe we're good. Okay. I okay. think we're good. That one's gonna attack. It's okay. Chica's gonna just keep Chico's eating defending. the hits. Okay. Now, I think she's got chain still, yeah? Really? Where's the, where's the chain? Oh, is that gonna get all of them? Yep, there we go. Nice. Whoa. Yep. Whenever those blow up, it does a ton of damage. Okay, so I I did that right. I just wasn't sure if the uh, the weight skills would carry over in the case of chain. Of all fae creatures, gremlins have the most contact with humans, probably because they're always trying to steal things to take back to their cave cities. Hmm. Ah. Oh, I thought we were much closer to Rockfall. So hungry. Oof. 
Oh, look at that pumpkin pie and that tomato. Food! What's all this stuff doing out here anyway? Yo! Well, we could just ask them. Hey, would you guys mind sharing some of your food with us? Who the heck is that? Who cares? Take their stuff and throw them in the river. Our next delivery for the Gremlin King is due. Guess we're gonna have to dine and dash. Okay, During throughout your journey, various items can be found in battle. Have one of your units end their turn standing in the same place as an item to pick it up. Even when attacking or assisting, you can still pick up items. Yep, and there's some food. Pio's gonna have to be the one to go get that Just, chest. Yep. Yep. I wonder what the Gremlin King is gonna look like. He's going to have the largest snaz. Probably. Or I should say schnoz? Is that how you say it? Yes. Watch it just like extend halfway down the screen, the screen <laughs> or something silly like that. <laughs> and look, there's an old car. And he ain't down yet. Yeah, so it looks like... Whenever civilization fell, it was the 1960s. Yeah, definitely not like full modern. Mm -hmm. Cause that looks reminiscent of say, an old beetle. Ish, yeah. One of my uncles had an old beetle. And it was one of those ones where the engine was in the back and the trunk was in the front. Yep. Those were always super dangerous. Because if somebody <laughs> rear-ended you, it would be a problem. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wonder about old vehicles if they have to be adjusted so that even if someone only intends to have one to leisurely ride around, if they have to install seat belts and airbags and other things, or if that would technically alter the integrity of the car from its original form and therefore is, it, you know what I'm getting at? Yeah. I wonder what kind of rules there are about that. Cause I remember Back in the 90s, my father's, what was it? It was like a 1989 Camry or something along those lines, a station wagon. The passenger side in the front didn't have an airbag. So as a kid, I was never allowed to sit up there. Mm -hmm. I think it was only the driver's side that had the airbag. And now, of course, vehicles have airbags all around even out the sides and over the windows and such. Just an interesting thought. So what do you think that pie is? I suppose the pie has already been eaten, hasn't it? Yeah, it just gave max HP. Mm. And... I could really use shield. a pumpkin pie. Well, we do have pumpkin downstairs. We do have a singular can of pumpkin puree. Yeah. Is that sufficient? What, what else do you need? We need well, a pie crust. Well, at the very least, we can make pumpkin pudding. Oh. Because that's, that's I mean, just like add cinnamon and some sugar. If I could just make the pumpkin pie filling on its own, I'd be, I'd be set. Except that then I don't have whipped cream. No. <laughs> So I suppose some people can, they melt marshmallows on top of their pumpkin pudding. I don't know. We'll have to look into it. Well, otherwise we can just get kind of silly with our dessert order the next time. I mean, it's still kind of tempting to... Oh, there, we got it initially for the pumpkin cheesecakes. Mmm. But I think we ran out of all of our Oreos. Yeah. 
because we would have used those in the muffin tins. Though I do have graham crackers. So to make little pumpkin cheesecakes is still a possibility. Because hmm? Mm -hmm. we have plenty of cream cheese that we won't be able to use with bagels because we only have one bagel left. Why am I talking about food? We just had pizza. I'm still hungry. <laughs> well, I saw the two extra slices and I was like, why didn't you just give them to us? Because I looked at the nutritional facts on the pizza box and it said that there were six servings at nearly 300 calories a piece. So yeah. why don't you do the math? Six servings, 1,800, 900 calories if for half of a pizza? Mm -hmm. That's not too far off of like a hamburger and fries. In fact, I think a hamburger and fries is more than that, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, now we're actually on to new content. Is this new content? Yeah. <gasps> Woohoo! In any case, looks like a troll is leading this group of gremlins. We'll have to take him out if we want to get through here. Then I have to use some of my talisman. Chico, my boy, you ready? Grrr. I don't know what that was. Uh. <laughs> I should practice my growl. Hey, summons. Whoa, Fate summons. talisman summon magical fae creatures to assist you at the start of battle. Okay, so we have a flying egg. Clearly one of those little draggling, uh, like a little draglet. Is that what you would call them? Like a little dragon? Sticking its eye out. And then what's the other one? Oh, it's the horned squirrel. Okay, so we have enchanting unit with regenerate. Ember spirit. Okay, but these are on cooldown, I think. So yeah, we have Unilana and a Dragonling. Dragonling and... Oh, there's the Unilana. Okay. Fly over most terrain. Melee. Wait, isn't... Mend wounds. Isn't the Unilana what Chico likes to eat and or chase? Chase. To chase. That makes sense. Squirrel. I love squirrels, though. Dang! Chico in protector mode is actually quite, uh, quite dangerous. Mm-hmm. You like squirrels, too, don't you? Yeah. 100%. Squirrel squirrels are probably I, one of my favorite animals. Definitely my favorite rodent. It helps that they're pretty ubiquitous. Though I do have to say, when we walked with your parents at that park back in Boston, they were Everywhere really aggressive. Much. I remember this one guy, he was sitting at a bench and he had to shoo them away because, what was it, six squirrels were that's, accosting that's because him? Squirrels in, uh, in Boston are extremely tame. Mm-hmm. But they're pretty insistent. Yeah, it's because they're they're there's no way that they're like afraid there were a couple people. that were approaching me and trying to get at my feet, and I was going, "Hey, I don't have any food to give you." Mm -hmm. Shoo shoo. Oh, I, nobody needs fairy's kiss. <laughs> Dang. It's also just a, a lovely variety of squirrels. Because remember those squirrels that we saw at the lighthouse on the coast? Yeah, those were really pretty. The ones that were chirping in the trees? They sounded like birds? It's a bit of a tragedy hmm? that we have such beautiful... Uh, surrounding environs. Well, such beautiful squirrel breeds in the world, and... Oh yeah, I really like the giant ones that are in India that look like they have purple and orange fur. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm mildly distracted by the troll's butt. Oh. Oh my. Why did you have to call attention to it? Is he also wearing one of those 
uh, ropes around his waist. Yeah, he is. Only one talisman can be used per round. I like this talisman system. That's really cool, actually. I wonder if the talisman was a gift that was passed down to her. Maybe a, a focus for her magic. I wish we could get a good look at the troll's face. Can you hover over him for a moment? Sure. Because it looks like he has a giant mustache. Actually, where's Pio? Oh, Pio's all the way up there. Oh my. Can Pio still attack? Yep. I should keep Pio in the water, though. Yeah, okay. Pio is definitely is. at an advantage in the. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Sort of a a mustache. And a, a little big goatee. Nose. Yeah. A giant nose, and he's earth-based. Do you see? Yep. He looks like a sumo wrestler. Let's see, whose turn is it? I think it's the squirrels. At level 5, leader units can learn reaction skills. Have a chance to trigger when a leader unit is hit with a direct attack. That's convenient. Okay, whale on this guy. Let's see. Oh! Did we get... Uh, we got kind of raided. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's summoning more. Good job. Well. Ow! Welp. That was quick. So at this point, we have two small gremlins, yeah, two so witches, the troll. I think this is becoming unsustainable. We need a battle plan. So we have to kill the troll. Mm -hmm. That's that's what the battle plan is. Uh, main reason being the troll will continuously summon new guys. He does. Okay, so this is one of those battles in which you really have to give your all to them and hope that you can stave off the others. Uh, it's sort of. I mean, I'm destroying him, so mm -hmm. there's that. Because I've got him surrounded by two melee units that are just going to wail on him mm -hmm. somewhat endlessly. Like, this is not... Oh, the shaman's capable of using magic cards. Yep. Ah! He has, he has big moves. Yeah, he does. Like a big, manly chest. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Uh, Do they have to give him great pink cheeks? Oh, we got a gremlin thief talisman. Who? The troll? The troll. I... Uh, why not? Who cares? Wait, so we can summon our own gremlin thief? Now? Yeah, so eventually we get to mess with our summon decks and our talismans and some other things. Oh. This is cool. This now is what I was... Edit your talismans? Yeah. Summon capacity determines the power of the fate talisman you can equip. Manage your team makeup to best utilize summon capacity. So, we have a gremlin thief. We have the Unilana. We have the Dragonling. So, currently... We can only go up to three of the bubbles. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Wait, does this mean you can have? Oh, you already have the Udilana and the drag dragling. Yeah. Dragonling. Yeah. So I could take out the Unilana, and grab the Gremlin Thief instead. Oh, I see. Because each of they, each of those creatures has a little orb. Mm -hmm. So does this mean that you can have one? Th Reorb creature that's really powerful, but you can only have the one. Correct. So you can have three weak creatures. 
Um, I think eventually we get a lot more, potentially. Maybe you get more summon capacity. Yeah, for like bigger guys. There's also spells. So we get three spells. And we only have three currently. We only have three currently. Yep. So fireball. we get a fireball, Ember regeneration, oh, so and a cute. heal. This is really cool. This <laughs> is what I was hoping for. Uh, let's see. So now we can do a free battle if we wanted to. But uh, story. Oh, hey. Oh, special move, move, jump reaction, heal, HP, MP, or MB. Yeah, MP is mana barrier, magic barrier. Okay. Are you just going into offense for everyone? Um. Kind I, of. I would think that the magic wielding characters would be better off with more MB aura and. M HP. I don't remember what MB Aura does specifically. I mean, isn't MB their mana? Yeah, but MB Aura is something else. And no, it's not their mana. M MB is mana barrier. It's a secondary HP bar. I, I think it staves off magical attacks. It might be a shield. Yes, that's what I explained. But okay. the... The aura is something else. So it would be good to have more MB to ensure that, say, you get a resistance to an enemy's attack, depending on... Yeah, but it's not super important on Piachin, because Piachin, uh, as long as Piachin's in water or doesn't do anything, Piachin is just Carol? constantly healing back up. Okay. So it's not super important. Oh, look, Rockfall Valley. Natural and magical creatures are part of the soul cycle. When natural creatures die, their souls become magic, which is reborn as the fey creature. When fey creatures die, their spirits become energy that forms souls to be reborn as natural creatures. Mechanic shop. Uh. Don't you have any of the parts? Sorry, the stock's pretty low right now. Parts you're asking for are pretty rare. When will you get some new parts? Can't say, honestly. Nothing's come into town for weeks because of the bandits. I've been stealing everything that comes down the roads here. You could try... in Genton. As far as I know, they're not having any problems getting supplies. Genton? Hmm... Thanks for the info. On the map, it looks like I can make it to Ingenton in a day if I climb down Igo's descent. Spellberry on my bike should last for a while. Maybe I should look into this group of bandits. What do you think? Woof! Pew! Alright. So we oh, have that's, two so, story quests. From oh. Genton, Fields, and we can go back. Uh, and now, now that we've cleared Dusty Road, we can just do free battle there whenever we want. Now that's interesting. Is, is this a branching path of the story, or can you do both? You have to do both. It's just you can deal do, with the bandits, and you can do either first. So I'll probably do Igo's descent, but I uh, well we normally don't do this live because we're too into the game. This is actually a really good stopping point for the first episode. We got mm -hmm. a little bit further past the beta, so people will have to watch this episode <laughs> instead of just watching the demo footage. Uh, but it is what it is. I like this. Just the inclusion of the summons and the spell system made all the difference as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing what else we unlock. Hopefully there's some more like customization. I'm Hopefully the equipment system will give me some neat well, stuff Well, at the bottom too. it looks like there might be food or potions and then also maybe some kind of tech. Yeah. I'm curious if there's some other things we can grab too because it says 4 out of 42 next to the protection scroll so maybe you can like have extra things on, or there's like a limit, or I don't even know. I'm I'm excited for it. But for now, at least, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave us a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, stick around, because we're going to play through, I hopefully, this entire game. It it I love Final Fantasy Tactics. We still got to go back to Felseal at some point. Uh, but we like this tactics is, games. Yeah, and this one has a lot in store. Yeah, it does. So... Because until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.